When Judge Gorsuch goes before the Judiciary Committee next week, he'll have to answer for his decisions. Not his empathetic words, but the decisions he wrote that favored the powerful over the powerless. They show a bias in favor of corporate interests against individual rights. And that is fundamentally against the grain of American justice. In January of 2009, I was working as a commercial truck driver for Trans Am Trucking Incorporated of Olathe, Kansas. I was hauling a load of meat through the state of Illinois. After stopping to resolve a discrepancy in the location to refuel, the brakes on the trailer froze. I expected that help would arrive within an hour. I awoke three hours later to discover that I could not feel my feet, my skin was burning and cracking, my speech was slurred, and I was having trouble breathing. As I sat there physically suffering in the cold, I started having thoughts that I was going to die. My physical condition was fading rapidly. I decided to try to detach the trailer from the truck and drive to safety. In my opinion, clearly their cargo was more important than my life. My employer fired me for disobeying their, their orders. And I'd like to make it clear that uh, although I uh, detached the tractor from the trailer, I returned and I completed my job and I was still fired. I disputed my, deter my uh, termination from Trans Am Truck and, and ultimately won. This was a seven year battle Seven different judges heard my case. One of those judges found against me. That judge was Neil Gorsuch. The notion that the only judge who issued a dissent relating to the matter of Alphonse Madden versus Trans Am Trucking has been nominated to become our nation's next Supreme Court justice gives me pause for concern. And that, his, that he demonstrated a willingness to artfully diminish the humane element that encompassed the issue and ignored the fact that the nation's Congress passed the Surface Transportation Assistance Act into law to uphold and maintain safe and humane working conditions. In August 2010, I underwent a posterior lumbar interbody fusion. Without my knowledge or consent, a product manufactured by Medtronic by the trade name of Infuse was placed in my back. I am in constant pain and I'm no longer able to deploy with my disaster medical assistance team, nor am I able to work in the emergency room because it requires standing for 12-hour shifts. Judge Neil Gorsuch held that even though Oklahoma law allows patients like me who are injured through the fault, a faulty medical device, my case could not even be heard by a jury. It is my belief that Judge Gorsuch rules in favor of big business. Most importantly, he said, a patient like me, injured and in constant pain, through no fault of my own, could not hold those responsible accountable. When my mom was diagnosed with leukemia, I was just starting the seventh grade, so I understood the severity of her condition. During her treatment, you would never be able to tell that she was sick. She always had a smile on her face and never stopped in her dedication to helping others. This positive attitude is what helped my mom beat leukemia. My mother was incredibly passionate about her role as an educator. One of the first things she asked about after returning home was when she could return to work. However, because of the flu epidemic on campus, her doctors advised her not to go, not to expose herself due to a compromised immune system. She was told that she had a week to show up or they would force her to resign or fire her. This decision to protect her health cost my mom her, her job. When Judge Gorsuch issued his ruling, he didn't think about the impact that this had on our family. She had shown up for 15 years and wasn't offered the opportunity to teach from home. This ruling set the precedent that a company's needs come before those who are disabled. Such rulings are what weaken my faith in the justice system. I'm here today using the strength and courage that my mom showed me to make sure that she still has a voice 
and to make sure that her legacy is never forgotten. Thank you.